Hi everyone, Namaskar and welcome to Curries with Bumbi. Today I will be making coffee trifle pudding. If you have guests coming over or you want to make something special for your family, then this recipe will earn you a lot of compliments. It is simple, quite easy to put together and the best part is you can make it a few days before your guests come over. So let's get started. Now the very first thing you need to do is to make a simple coffee custard. I already have the recipe for coffee custard on my channel so please check that out. I have left the link in the description box where it is running on the YouTube card above the video. Just remember that you have to make a thinner custard for this recipe. I have left all the ingredient proportions and details in the description box below. After you are done making the custard, let it cool down completely before you proceed with the recipe. But from time to time make sure that you give it a stir so as to prevent any crust forming on top. If you find that your custard is not that smooth, then you can even pass it through a strainer to get that smooth texture. Here I have taken heavy whipping cream. Now here I would like to say use whatever cream available at your place that whips up the best. I added granulated sugar. You can even use confectioner's sugar or in some places it is known as icing sugar. Next I added instant coffee powder. Now I will be using my hand blender to whip up the cream. Whip on medium speed till it forms soft peaks. As soon as you see it is starting to thicken up a bit, stop whipping. My custard has cooled down completely. I scooped up just half a cup from the cream that I whipped and mixed it with the custard. But remember the custard should cool down completely before adding the whipped cream. Mix till all the whipped cream gets well mixed with the custard and you get a smooth texture. Coming back to the rest of the whipped cream again, I will be whipping this on medium to high speed till it just starts forming stiff peaks. Remember to stop whipping as soon as you see the cream turning stiff. If you go on whipping too much then the cream will be solidifying and we don't want that. You need this for layering the topmost layer so keep this aside. Coming to the layering now, I am using store bought pound cake. Since this is a coffee trifle use a plain cake. Try not to use anything with any complex or strong flavorings. Just a simple plain cake will do the job. After layering the bottom with the cake slices, spoon out the coffee custard liberally on top. Then using a tea strainer, I sprinkled cocoa powder on top. Then again repeat the layers. First the cake slices, then the coffee custard, then the cocoa powder. You can make as little or as many layers. My one had three layers of cake. So here I'm done with my final bit of layering. Do not add coffee powder on this final layering. The whipped cream needs to be right on top. I'm not using any piping bag nor any piping tips today as I want to keep everything very simple. Just a Ziploc bag will be great for this. Fill up one end of the bag with the whipped cream. Snip off the corner tip of that side and just pipe it out all over in whatever way you feel like. Now I have zero piping skills so I always do in this way so if you are like me don't worry at all about how you are piping it. Just do it in your own special way. Then again dust all over with cocoa powder to give a neat appearance. And as I say to cover up all those zero piping skills. Really the cocoa powder does a great job and makes everything look very special. And your guests will be amazed by the look. But you know, you know the secret behind it. Here I will give you another idea where you do not have to go through all this. You can even keep everything very simple. Just put dollops of cream on top 
and spread it out evenly and finally dust cocoa powder on top. Saves time, energy, it is simple and easy. Finally I decorated with candied cherries. This is totally optional. You can also make this two days before as it tastes even better in that way as the cake soaks up all that custard and everything gets time to blend in. So next time you have guests coming over please try this recipe. I'm sure they will love it. Please check out other recipes on my channel and if you are new here please consider subscribing. Eat healthy and stay healthy. Bye bye.